It's time for another edition of Totally Inaccurate Twisted History. Today, Malone, New York. This is our lovely uh, hotel room in Malone, New York. It is a red roof inn, and actually, pretty damn nice. I gotta be—I gotta be honest. Um, it is a no smoking room, which I always found weird that you can't smoke in a room, but you can put semen everywhere you want. So um, there wasn't that much semen this time. Well, there's a little more. say sexy Malone, New York. Um, gateway to the Orient and the first city in the United States to legalize the wearing of shoes. Not many people know this. Come on, let's take a look at this place. Malone's history, or pre-Malone, is a vivid and intriguing one. The colonizers of the area, French turtle wranglers, sissy English dandies, and three drunk Polacks came in and kicked the shit out of the native population, with, of course, bullets and tuberculosis, because your feelings. That's history. Just walking the streets of Malone, you can almost feel as if you're walking in the footsteps of poet Walt Whitman. But he never walked here, but it kind of feels the same. In downtown Malone is the Flanagan Hotel, or what remains of it. Built in 1917 for 15 American dollars, it was the largest hotel north of Albany. But sadly, it caught fire in 1997 and has sat vacant ever since. The cause of the fire remains unknown, but speculation is a guest fell asleep while smoking in bed. Or possibly two meth heads spontaneously combusted after rubbing together to keep warm in a dumpster behind the friggin' thing.
On the outskirts of Malone, you'll see everywhere enormous wind turbines, or as the Amish call them, great big whirly durly contraption things. At the time, Governor Harpo Cuomo tried to offer free electric to the local Amish community for their support, but they replied, Thou shall go f with thine self. Indeed. Thank you for watching Totally Inaccurate Twisted History with Regis Philbin. I'm your host, Max Murdoch, and I'm Max Murdoch flavored.